on most of its newspapers applauded me in Montgomery. I stood before thousands of Negroes getting ready to riot when my home was bombed. Said, we can't do it this way. They applauded us in the sit-in movement. We non-violently decided to sit in at lunch counter. They applauded us on the freedom rides when we accepted blows without retaliation. Oh, the press was so noble in its applause, so noble in its praise when I was saying be non-violent toward Bull Connor. There's something strangely inconsistent about a nation and a press that will praise you when you say be non-violent toward Jim Clark, but will curse and damn you when you say be non-violent toward little brown Vietnamese children. There's something wrong with that press. Another burden of responsibility was placed upon me in 1964. I cannot forget that the Nobel Peace Prize was not just something taking place, but it was a commission, a commission to work harder than I had ever worked before for the brotherhood of man. This is a calling that takes me beyond national allegiances, but even if it were not present, I would yet have to live with the meaning of my commitment to the ministry of Jesus Christ. For me, the relationship of this ministry to the making of peace is so obvious that I sometimes marvel at those who ask me why I am speaking against the war. Could it be that they do not know that the good news was meant for all men? For communists and capitalists? For their children and ours? For black and white? For revolutionary and conservative? Have they forgotten that my ministry is in obedience to the one who loved his enemies so fully that he died for them? What then can I say to the Viet Cong or to Castro or to Mayo as a faithful minister to Jesus Christ? Can I threaten them with death? Or must I not share with them my life? There will be no meaningful solution until some attempt is made to know these people and hear their broken cry. Some attempt is made to know these people and hear their broken cry. Until some attempt is made to know these people and hear their broken cry. Until some attempt is made to know these people and hear their broken cry. Some attempt is made to know these people and hear their broken cry. Until some attempt is made to know these people and hear their broken cry. Hear that broken cry.